Hello, my name is Kevin Douglas Berg. This is What Was I Saying Blog KDB. I'm here to provoke thought and move me just a little bit. I'd like to tell you what's going on in the latest news in Israel and Ukraine. Today's fast paced world, keeping up the latest news can be a challenge. However, it's crucial to stay informed about. Global events have far-reaching impacts. Two such significant events are the ongoing situation in Israel and Ukraine, which have, of course, captured the world's attention. The G7 summit has been a focal point for discussions on these critical issues, with leaders deliberating on Russia's invasion of, of Ukraine and Israel's offensive in Gaza's Rafa. The summit concluded with a unified stance to increase pressure on Russia and address the growing economic influence of China. Oh yeah, China will always play a key role. Pretty soon, it wants all the roles. In a separate development, a peace summit aimed at resolving the conflict in Ukraine, some major nations gathered to sign a communique, although some countries abstain due to the absence of Russia and presence of Israel, or the, or the lack of presence of Israel. The communique emphasized the safety of nuclear installations. The free flow of Ukraine agricultural products and the return of unlawfully displaced Ukrainian civilians. President Zelensky of Ukraine has also expressed concern that the Israel Gaza conflict is a diverting attention from the Ukrainian struggle, a sentiment that underscores the interconnected nature of global conflicts. As these events untold, it's essential to understand their complexities and the potential consequences they hold for international relations and peace efforts. All right. I got a little update on, uh, I got another one too, what did it do, what did it do? We have Building Back Better, which is about the unemployment and the sectors and what's happening with the work market, non-existent for me, man, non-existent, unbelievable. Once again, never have seen it this slow in my effing life. But let's go with the according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, some of the fasting growing, fastest growing careers of 2024. Nurse practitioner. Definitely. Definitely. Everybody's getting older and they need them like nobody's business. And they can travel for about saw like three grand, thirty two hundred a week. If you have that, that, um, that NS, the nursing certificate, whatever. Wind turbine service technician. I got nothing there. I got nothing there. I, yeah, I, I thought we were already over that bullshit. And they're actually putting them up in California with nothing connected to them. You're going for that work. Renewable energy. Uh. Oh boy. Ushers, lobby tenants, and ticket takers. Let's look at that. No one can find work. No one can get a job. No one wants to sit in front of a computer and constantly look for work. What do you do? You entertain. You get the fuck out of where you are. That's it. <laughs> oh, motion picture projectionist. projectionists. Once again, who's going to run the movie for all those people that don't want to be sitting there looking for work and not getting any callbacks from a slow, very recession, middle of depression kind of thing? Data scientists, I brought this up. Springboard, the perfect platform. I went through it uh, like twice, whatever. I did like a one quarter or two quarters of um, data science. Anyhow, you have data 
you have all these applications take data, all these applications need somebody to interpret the data. They grab all the data and they create predictive analysis. And they sell whatever it shows according to the data that's collected. Do you want to get a job that stays for a while? Data science. It'll be here for a long time. And it's up and coming at the same time. Um, restaurant cook. Don't want to eat in all the time. Want to go out because you're bored. So what do you do? Of course, go to a restaurant. The athletes, athletes and sports competitors. Fuck, I don't even understand that. What the hell is that here for? I don't know. Information security analyst, another facet of computer technology that is not going to the wayside according to AI and everything else and all the advancements. They need to secure everything they have out there. Cybersecurity, security analyst, data science. Those are the hottest things in, um, well, raw for them, but in the uh, computer field if you're looking to do that. Anything else, the, the programming, you can do that, Google that. And I've seen developers just Google and Ubuntu and all these other search engines and all these other things and they don't write any code anymore. Just cut and paste, cut and paste, cut and paste. Doesn't matter if it's working for a bank or internet startup, most of the code's already written, folks. Most of the code's already written if not all of the code and you just gotta just gotta corrugate it correctly you gotta you gotta plan it out the right way i was like oh i was so shocked this was like 10 years ago i'm like now forget it so we'll do and eh, we're not gonna do the summary time we'll let him stay we'll let him stay my name's kevin douglas Berg. we are approaching a hundred and fifty thousand views, three hundred and thirty-five people, over fourteen hundred short form and long form videos uploaded. I have new playlists coming out. Uh, if you haven't heard, nature about bees, the military, how it's all breaking down, seven fleet, um, you know, what's on land, what's on the sea, you know, what we use as well as uh, uh, meals on the cheap or food on the cheap, cheap meals you can make. Um, I did one with rotisserie chicken, shredded all that up, five bucks, get the containers, another five bucks, separate it, put it with a spinach, put it with carrots, put it with some cheese. You can, you can, take, you can check that out, excuse me. On the upcoming, we're going to be looking at um, uh, advances in the medical field, as well as coming this Friday. Yeah, coming this Friday. We'll do our first um, open kind of session on blogging, on social media, on creating a niche, on developing an idea, on marketing yourself, on finding out what you're passionate about and possibly using that as something on the side to grow. Hence, what I'm doing right here. I am so thankful for you folks. Can't even tell you. Can't even tell you. I, I don't even know what kind of person or mental status or state I would be in if I didn't have you. No joke. I swear to God. You guys are my life theory. You're one of the reasons why I'm still here. No joke. Gave me, you gave me boots, you know? Give me something to work on and work for. Okay, we're at 10 minutes almost. I was supposed to make this a short one. Sorry. Let's, let's pray it out. And what was the same blog? We always pray it out at the end. Pray for you, pray for me, pray for world peace. Pray for those coming and going. Pray for those on the plane, train, automobile. Pray for all first responders, anybody who is in rescue staff, any firefighters, any policemen or police women. Pray for those that are, serve, are serving, post-serving, fighting with PTSD. Pray for those in and on the hospital on a better day. Pray for all of the doctors. Pray for um, people who have a bad Monday. Don't we have a good Tuesday? You and me, world peace. I'm here for both thought. And we're just a little bit. Come on.
Thank you.